Hey, what's up, guys? So, today we're going to do third grade math. And our topic is going to be subtraction. With three digits. Alright, so this is exactly the same thing as our last topic when we did subtraction with two digits, except we have one more digit to deal with. Not much of a big difference. So let's get started with this. Alright, you guys definitely remember in our last video, we talked about how to do 23 minus 11, two digit numbers. And we could break it up into left and right hand columns, then do our regular subtraction, and we would get our answer to be 12. So, in this video, we're going to do something really similar, except we're going to have three digits now. So, let's take the number 121, and let's subtract that from 101. Let's keep it simple for now. So, in our previous videos, we would have usually made broken it up into two columns, but this time, we're going to break it up into three columns. So, to do this, we have to break this up into three columns this time. So we will break it up into left, middle, and right hand columns. All right. So what we usually did was subtract just the right hand column. So let's subtract the right hand column. And when we subtract the right hand column, we get zero. Then we subtract the middle column right here. This is the middle column. So when we subtract the middle column, meaning two minus zero, we get two. And then we do our left-hand column, which is 1 minus 1. And 1 minus 1 is just 0. So our answer to this question, 121 minus 101, is 20. Fairly simple. Let's go on to another question. So let's say we have a question 368 minus 124. So, let's do what we always do, break this up into right, middle, and left-hand columns. So, first we have to do the right-hand column subtraction. So, 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is just 4. Then we do middle columns, which is 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is just 4. Then we do our left-hand column, which is... 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is just 2. So our answer to 368 minus 121 is just 200, 244. Awesome. Let's go on to a bit of a harder type of problem now. So this problem is going to require carrying over like we did last time. So let's take numbers such as 300 and 22 minus 129 actually I'm gonna make it a bit, e bit easier let's make this 119 all right so to do this let's do what we always do break this up into three columns left middle and right so Let's try doing right-hand subtraction first. Let's see. This is our right-hand column. 2 minus 9. We can't do 2 minus 9 because 2 is less than 9. So to do this, we would now have to borrow from this 2, make this a 1, and then we would make this a 12. Then we can do our right-hand subtraction. Our right-hand subtraction is now 12 minus 9. And we know that 12 minus 9 is just 3. Now we go on to our middle hand column. Our middle hand column is just 1 minus 1. And we know that 1 minus 1 is just 0. Now we have to go on to our left hand column subtraction. And our left hand column subtraction is just 3 minus 1. And 3 minus 1 is just 2. So our answer at 322 minus 211 it's just 203. Fairly simple. So, on the next slide, I'm going to have a few questions. You guys can either try them on your own by pausing the video, or you can watch me go through them. So, let's get started with those. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. 
So here we go, we have a few problems that we can try. So now let's do what we always do, break this up into three columns, the usual. Now let's do right hand column subtraction, one minus one. One minus one is just zero. Now then we do middle hand subtraction, middle column subtraction, four minus two. Four minus two is just two. Then we do left hand column subtraction, which is two minus one. Two minus one is just one. So our answer of 241 minus 121 is just 120. Let's go on to problem number two. So problem number two, let's break this up into three columns. All right. Now we have, let's do our right hand subtraction first. Six minus two. Six minus two is just four. Now we ha then we have to do our middle subtra middle hand subtraction, which is three minus two. Three minus two is just one. Then we have to do our left hand column subtraction, which is nine minus five, and nine minus five is just four. So our answer to three hundred nine hundred and thirty six minus five hundred and twenty two is just four hundred and fourteen. Let's go on to our last question. So our last question requires us to borrow. Let's let's do this. All right. So let's break it up into three columns first. All right. So let's do our right hand column subtraction first. Our right hand column subtraction is six minus eight, but we can't do six minus eight because six is smaller than eight. Since six is smaller than eight, we have to borrow a number from the seven. So this becomes a six. And the 6 becomes a 16. Now we can do our right hand subtraction. Our right hand subtraction is 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8 is just 8. Then we do our middle hand subtraction, which is 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is just 3. Then we have to do our left hand subtraction, which is just 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is just 6. So our answer to 876 minus 238 is just 638. Alright, so that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.